Hi, I'm Dave Denniston, Director of Risk Management with Emergency Services Insurance Program by McNeil & Company. I think by now we all understand that we're ordinary people going through some very extraordinary times. It can be tough on us in fire and EMS services. We're used to being the hero. We're used to being the person that runs in as other people are running out. And yet in this current situation, things are different. You know, some of us think we're invincible. It's important to understand that we are not. Many departments have changed what they're doing. Unfortunately, some have not. We need to understand that we can't help anyone in our communities if we don't take care of ourselves first. This has never been more true than it is today. This could be the most taxing event on fire and EMS agencies that most of us will see in our careers. The difference this time and the problem is that there are no additional resources to draw on. Usually when we have a natural disaster or a big event, we call on the next town, the next county, the next state, or even the next nation over for resources and help. This time, we're all going through the same challenge. There are very few resources out there to share. We need to understand that, and we need to do some things differently. We're going to need to do things differently to be successful. As I said, many departments have, have already made changes and have taken those appropriate steps, but many departments have not, and this is a big mistake. Recently, I've had calls from fire departments who are struggling and not sure what to do. I've had departments where the whole officer's ranks have been wiped out. I've had departments where the membership is a third or less because someone was exposed or quarantined or worse yet, has suffered the virus. So what do we do in those situations? How do we protect our communities? And the simple facts are that we cannot. So we must take changes. We must do things differently to protect ourselves, to protect our organizations, and to protect our communities. It's time that we stop hanging out at the firehouse. It's time that we realize that there's guidelines out there. There are things that we can do so we don't need everybody at the firehouse. When we get a call, absolutely, we're going to go. We're going to do what we need to do, but even then we need to be careful. The biggest problem we have today is many organizations still have not made the decision to cancel some of these other activities at the firehouse. They look at ourselves as being essential, and we are but we also need to take some steps to do things differently. There are many different tools out there to allow you to do some of these things. Many departments have gone to having virtual meetings. These services are available to all of us, whether it's Zoom or WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Google Hangouts. There are a number of ways that your people can get together and still communicate and still do those things that we want to do but yet we're doing it in different locations. We're isolating ourselves and we're protecting our organization from bringing something into the firehouse. There's many different ways that we can accomplish training. There's online training platforms available. There's webinars being held on a regular basis. We here at McNeil & Company are here to help. If you need help setting up our online training platform, we can help you do that. We've had over 2 million courses taken on that system to date. It was valuable before the virus, and it'll be valuable long after. If you haven't used it yet, give us a call. We can get you set up. We can get you taking the right steps to keep your members trained. We're hosting webinars every Monday and Wednesday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time as a bare minimum. We also have many other webinars that we're, we're holding during this time frame. All of these can be found on our website, esip.com. Check it out. See the links. See how to sign up. See what topics we're covering. Some of the topics are COVID-related. 
but many are many others are not. There's standard training that we all need, sexual harassment, patient assessment, roadway safety. We're doing all of those on an accelerated basis through this crisis as well. All different ways to help keep your members trained when it's important that we train. So we do need to meet, we do need to train, we do need to communicate it with each other, but we need to find new ways to do that. They're available and we encourage you to make use of them. Many departments have done some great things for their communities. One of our local departments did an attitude lifting parade the other night. People were running out of their front doors, standing on their lawns, watching the fire trucks drive by. It was exciting for the community and listening to their voices on the radio. It was exciting for those members as well. Many departments are using social media like they've never used it before to connect with their communities. I've heard of fire departments that are doing fire prevention campaigns, getting families together to draw an exit plan from the house, doing these things that we never had time for before. And now we have a captive audience. Now we have people looking for that type of thing. Think outside the box. Think of ways to connect with your community. And think of ways to be that hero that we really are. We here at McNeil & Company are here to help. Our 800 number, 1-800-822-3747, extension 176. That's 1-800-822-3747, extension 176. It's staffed by our safety specialists who are more than happy to share ideas and share solutions with you during this difficult time. The McNeil & Company will want to thank you for all you do on a regular basis and certainly those things that you're doing to help your community in the time of need. We will get through this current crisis. We'll get through it together. But it's going to take all of us to do the right thing. It's going to take all of us to step up and do things differently than we've done in the past. It's going to take all of us to do our part. Be safe out there, my friends. We will get through this, and we'll get through it together.